Alright, what to do, players and trainers? It's your boy, the Blazing Squid. I am covering my mod. I am going to move myself slightly. And I'm not alone. I got some special guests. Mark, introduce yourself. I'm Mark uh, from the Arizona Volcarona. And we also have Jesse. It's your boy from Down Under. I'm from the Australian Archive. And let's get into this. Alright, so let me tell you guys his team right took. He has the Mega Sableye, the Tentacruel, the Victini, the Garchomp, the Ferrothorn, and the Thunderous. What do you guys think is going to be his lead? I don't know. Maybe Ferrothorn for Hazard. Yes. Ferrothorn? We do. Ferrothorn. So our best lead would be Azelf. In that case, right? Yeah. Yeah. Azelf? Yeah. Azelf? Yes, I have the Fire Blast. Oh, yeah. man. Azelf. And, okay. and if he switches, he could also get a nasty cut off. That'd be good. True. Yeah, you might even make a hard read on Nasty Plot if if he does read, I mean, read uh, Ferrothorn. He's asking if I'm doing this live. Yes, I'm doing this live. I'm recording. All right, let me reply to him real quick. I've already selected all my mods. So, on call with Mark. Jesse. All right, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. We got nine seconds. Let's jump into this battle. I'm hyped. Mark is issuing that challenge, and we're going to send out AKA Azelf, which is nicknamed Jesse. <laughs> I nicknamed <laughs> everybody after their team, uh, their, their coach. So, oh man, all right. Challenge by Matt. I wish you guys could see this, but I have such a shitty. Set up. All right, so we're going to lead off Azelf, and he's going to lead off with Zuko, actually. Whoa. We got nothing for Zuko. Okay. The good thing is, I can make... <sighs> is he going to feed Shearing the Shadow Ball? Mm, that's hard to say. All right, you know what? The thing I like about Matt is, like, he likes his uh, switch initiatives. So... Yes, he does. One thing... I think I might move myself, actually. Yeah, to the right left corner over here. Yeah, okay. So I could make a hard read on switching to Zygarde and get that Rocky Helmet damage off. I think that's a good idea. I don't know. What do you guys want? What do you do? Cause He's not going to go for the Shadow Ball. He's going to go for the hard read, knowing that. Well, I don't think... Does Victina get Shadow? It does get Shadow Ball, which is a thing, too. Oh, but up faster naturally. He knew the Azelf lead was coming. <laughs> Alright, uh this yeah. is a that can be good. We can we can, can be stealth and it can do damage. It's either switch into squid or get the intimidate off with croc. Expecting mm -hmm. a shadow ball. But if you guys have Zygod, Victini can also get ICA. Which can do damage. Okay, I know, but U turn is such a common thing, too. Yeah, it is. I got 15 yeah, seconds. Point. 15 seconds. I would, you, can't, you can't go crook because he could go for a safe U turn. Okay, we're going to go Zygarde. Zygarde, it is. I'm not taking. Okay. There uh, you go. I think that's the right play because he's probably going to U turn. There's going to be a lot of second guessing. He's going to. Flame charge! Okay. Uh, good okay, good so good we're going to get this good nice good rocky helmet damage off. He does increase his speed, which is very unfortunate. But 1,000 arrows takes it out as long... Okay, we didn't see a life orb. There's no life orb damage. He could be... I see him saying... I think you dragon dance because he's got a switch, even with the speed. Unless HP ice, I don't know. He wouldn't do that. Yeah. Well, I think I think you dragon dance. You have twice yet, so you may want to help if he can kill it without okay, a let me see. So I don't even remember. You have my Zygarde set there. Yeah. How much did yeah, I, I, I paid? Two fifty two in HP, right? And yeah. fi it's fifty two in defense. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Victini. We know it's not choice. Maybe it's choice padded. I don't know. Who knows? All right. So Glaciate does 42.7 to 57 from a Jolly set. Adamant 
does 52. It doesn't do too much, actually. We live. Wow, that, okay. for a times Ooh. four move? And I think he switches anyways, so I'd say you yeah. set up. Set up? Dragon he Dance or Coil? A thousand, he doesn't want to take a thousand arrows. So Dragon Dance. All right, we'll Dragon Dance. I'm a Dragon Dance. He U-turns. He U-turns. Good read. Good move. It's a U-turn. So he's taking mm -hmm. more Rocky Helmet damage, which is very... I don't know. Okay, so we're going to Dragon Dance here. He might switch into Sable. Ferrothorn. He switches into Ferrothorn. How much does thing get him? Because the because yeah. How much damage does Ferrothorn do to you? With a he probably, it's probably Rocky Helmet, and he has Iron Bark, so, so he just wants to chip you down. Damn. Should I let him set up? Okay, if he has the Leech Seed, I'm gonna switch out next turn. But I think I should start setting up Coils and Dragon Dances. I think he should too. Actually, I mean, he could pop. He power whips, but other than that, he's expecting you to chip yourself down with Rocky Helmet and Iron Barbs, probably. The good thing is, I think I put enough speed into Zygarde where one Dragon Dance, we outspeed everything on his team. Everything but Rabombi, and he didn't bring Rabombi. So I can start coiling up, and I outspeed everything barring no Scarfers. Yeah, right. you can because, because a power whip just like 25. Yeah, Alright, so we're gonna start coiling. So we're gonna increase our defense. Yo, Zygarde is scary as hell right now. Oh, yeah. He's gonna leech seed. Obviously, he's gonna leech seed. Ah! So I'm gonna have to. Oh, man. He's, like I said, dude, he's just gonna chip you down with that. Um, but, I mean, enough coils and you probably could take him out. I don't wanna risk that right now. I really don't want to risk that. Should I switch into Jesse and Fire Blast? Or switch into Croc and get my own stuff rocks up? Yeah, he's going to go for rocks next, probably. Yeah, but I don't want to take a power whip. So I think Jesse's a safe switcher, right? Like And Fire Blast? Yeah, go to Big Teeny, because I bet he goes rocks, though, honestly. You doubt he goes rocks? I I think. Because he wants to, he just wants to whittle you down with uh, Leech Seed, Iron Barbs, and probably Rocky Helmet. What, what, what are the chances he runs Thunder Wave on this set, though? Thunder Wave or Knock Off? Uh, knock Off is more likely than, than Thunder Wave. I agree. I've never seen that use a. Damn, dude. Error. We the, the only check we have for this Ferrothorn is really. Jesse. I think Jesse yeah. is our best switch. Unless I think Zygarde is still he's very viable. We didn't see the Glaciate, which is good. Yeah. And a Dragon Dance would be we get huge damage off on like Tentacruel. The Victini. We can set up on Victini actually. With these Dragon Dances. So that's good to know. So we saw Flame yeah, Charge. Yo, I should be taking notes of this. So he went for Gyro Ball. And that's going to do 48. It's ah, uh, That did more than 50%. That did about 70%. 154 to 48. That did over 100. Ah. Okay. So the flamethrower is, is kind of hard. Hmm. Is the flamethrower obvious? Yeah. Are <laughs> <laughs> you saying you could nasty pot and hope you at speed? Or... So yeah, he might switch. It's so obvious, yeah. and you could nasty plot. The thing but is, he could also predict a, a nasty plot because 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 when I use Azov, I would always nasty plot, which like a lot. I think I should fire blast because if he switches into Sableye, Sableye gets access to Sucker Punch, and he can just Sucker Punch yeah. me in the next turn. Yeah, just yeah. yeah, just play the safe play. The safe play. So in we're gonna case, fire blast. Yeah, in case he hard reads. Fire blast and there. hope it for no misses. He's gonna withdraw and switch into Corellia, which is the tentacle actually. We're gonna fire blast. That did. Oh, we got a burn. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that did about fifteen percent though, bro. Hold up. Yo, this tentacruel might be a salt vest. 
it most likely is because he ran out of what this season, I think. Because the switch in? Oh, well, he knew it could take it. Let me see. Um, Azelf. <laughs> or Azelf, however you pronounce it. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, Fire Blast does roughly normally. Oh no, this 12.3 to a 15 to a 9. A full HP. A full HP set. With no special defense investment. So, how much does Psychic do? Is there a chance he runs this as a Scarfer? There is. Z, Z Psychic takes it out. If he's not AV. If he's AV. It does 81 to 96.7. That that looks like range to kill, as long as he's not Scarf. Yeah. I'm going to go for the yeah. Shatter Sight. Shatter Sight. Yeah. Is he going to outspeed? He's not going to outspeed. We're going to get off this Z-moves. Yes. All right, yeah, Jesse yeah. putting in work already. Chemicals, bloody hard to kill. Oh, man. Jesse, Jesse. See, Jesse, oh. MVP already. Shatter Psych, here it comes, uh, folks. Uh, uh, oh, uh, man, uh, I love Shatter Psych. Let's see how much this does. Well, it, it killed, dude. It killed. It should kill. Yo, that burn helped out. I think it did. If it was AV, uh, actually, we don't even know what it said. He could have been more specially offensive, for all we know. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, that's huge. Oh shoot, that's Jolly with Timid. Actually, would have done. Yeah, would have done a lot more. Well, it depended on set. So he's gonna send Thunderous. Yeah. Okay. He's coming. Uh... Thunder Wave most likely, probably. See, Thunders is another mod that likes to U-turn and Bolt Switch. Yeah. For my yeah. last battle. I have, bit, I, have bit, I have a feeling that he's going to go for a Thunder Wave because he knows that uh, HBRS will come to Zygarde. So switch to Zygarde? No, don't because the HBRS. You never right. Yeah, he's totally running HP at base. I think then yeah. I should probably switch into Alejandro. The Jolteon. We don't have the Volts Azor because he said Quick V would be better. But yep. well, and then I don't I don't have the set in front of me, but HP Ice on Jolteon. We could take any move he throws at us, and right. then it would activate the Toxic Orb, which activates our Quick V. And if you like, if he U turns into like let's say um. Garchomp, we can hit him power ice next turn because we outspeed everything. We don't have to worry yeah, about. I think he's yeah. He's probably gonna pivot. He, he's gonna pivot, right? I think our best pivot would be Jolteon to hit him right or there. Or it goes for Thunder Wave, then we're immune to it. Right. So down. that's a good play, bro. We're coming down to yeah. every wire. It's thirteen seconds. I'm gonna go Jolteon. We're gonna go Jolteon. We're gonna go Jolteon. Yeah. Play, play, small play. He's gonna thunder wave. Great call, Mark. Yo, that was solid. Oh man. All right, nice. That was solid. Thanks, dude. All right, so and now you threaten him with an HPI. So this guy doesn't get. He does. We can vault switch for initiative. And That's not, take not a bad idea. Any toxic. Who's he got left in the back? Rabombi. He's got. Um, He's got Sableye, Garchomp, Ferrothorn, and Victini in the back. There's a yeah, chance. Pivot. pivot, yeah, because the hidden power ice is very obvious. Right, so pivot. Pivot. So we got Vault Switch. So we're going to Vault Switch here. Pivot. Like, he can't go Garchomp. All right, so he withdrew, and right? he's going to go into Ferrothorn. And we're going to pivot back into Azelf and start throwing off some more. Okay. Hell yeah. Wow, Good I did reads. nothing. Oh, it's resistant. resistant. That's true. All right, so now we got more pivot. We can switch into... I don't think Sylveon does too much. Okay, there's Gyro Ball, actually. There's the... Honestly, Pro you could go into even T-Pex on Ferrothorn, even with the Power Whip, and start setting up stockpiles. Start setting That's up some stockpiles. True. I think, yeah, we could do that, actually. 
set up some stockpiles, and eventually probably even scald. We got the recover, which luckily I we added back on last second. But so I'll start stockpiling up, right? Oh, because you even said it. We yeah. get one stockpile up, and Garchomp comes in. We can just ice beam next turn. Right. Mm -hmm. It's so if he tries to come in for the EQ, and you can make the hard read and just uh, ice beam instead. Thunder Wave, Ferrothorn. I told you guys, Damn. Thunder Wave, Ferrothorn, man. Ah, Thunder Wave Shit. is gonna be such a pain to deal with. No, no hacks. Should we go for a scald and pray for a burn right now, or do we keep setting up some stockpiles? What would you guys do? Well, I think you set up stockpiles, I, and then you could just start small because yeah. you got to be prepared for the power hacks anyways. Yeah, you're right. He's going to go for lead seed. Yeah, okay. Shouldn't be coming. And we are paralyzed. Damn. No. Noodle cakes, man. Piss off. Oh, God. So we've seen... Gyro Ball, we've seen Leech Seed, and we've seen Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave. So his last move either has to be Spikes, or it has to be Rocks. Rocks. Uh, Alright, so that's not uh, too bad. No, dude, it could be Spin, dude. It could be Rapid Spin. Ferrothorn gets Rapid Spin? Yeah. Doesn't he? Yeah. No? What? I think no, he doesn't. <laughs> come on, guys. Yo, come. Bro, I've been playing Pokemon for a while. There's no way if Ferris don't get rapid spin. It's 5 a.m. Leave me alone. Okay, it's 5 a.m. I don't I don't see it here. Let me see. Egg moves. Dude, he doesn't get rapid spin. Oh, uh, my bad. I always confuse them with Fortress because right, they're so like we're just the gonna, same thing. I can't believe... Yeah, rocks. He has rocks. Okay, so who's weak to rocks on our team? Nobody. Another yeah. paralysis. Are you serious? No. no. Oh, he can't touch us. He has Gyro Ball. Yeah, he doesn't. All he's going to do is get the chip damage from Leech Seed. Do we make a is read and go for Ice Beam? I say so. Make a read and go for Ice Beam? Well, we're going to start making some plays here, guys. We're going to start well, making some plays. You might even proc the freeze, too, even if he stays in. He's, he's going to withdraw. He's, wi he's switching, guys. He's switching. Oh, he went to save Y. No! Freeze, 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 come on. Yo, that ice beam did 45%. Dude, dude, dude modest, modest dude. fucking t packs dude, the underdog. Dude. And you're, you're plus one on, from the stockpile, right? Yeah, we are. So I think I'm gonna recover here. Because and you're paralyzed, so he doesn't really have anything to prankster you with. Well, he's gonna mega. Let's see. He might have. Does would he have power up punch? Probably. But we have. Oh, we have say. Oh, uh, we have uh, Sylveon in the back. So he's he's gonna yeah. start calm mining up. No, well, no, you could go for the scald on him and maybe get the burn, and also that's a stab attack. If Ice Beam already did forty five percent. Dude, we got scald we got paralyzed again. God damn it. <laughs> I think we have to switch yeah. it to Sylveon because I can't let him keep just call mining up like that. No, nah, but dude, Parana hacks are screwing you. Yeah, dude, we already got three out of four. Yo, but if we could have made that Garchomp read, if you would have switched into Garchomp right there, that would have been huge. So we switch into mm -hmm. Sylveon. He's going to go for another Calm Mine. So, Modest Sylveon, how much would we be doing? Should we start Calm Mining ourselves up, or do we go straight for an attack? Well, he's at plus two now, right? He got yeah. two call mines, right? Yeah, he is. And I don't, yeah, Sylveon's not going to be able to do it's much because of special attack. Yeah, he can't really catch Sylveon. I don't think. 
Because if he has Dark Pulse, we resist that. He can go for knockoff. Yeah. Hyper Voice, let's see. Well, he might. Hyper Voice is 53%. If he's, if he's, if he's, if he's max special defense at plus two. It does 53%? Uh, minimum, so it's like 57. 57? Plus two? Then I guess do yeah. that. He's probably yeah, going to go for a fucking two. prank. Or, no, he's not prankster yeah, anymore. he's not prankster he's anymore. Good. He's forced to switch out, kind of. Yeah, he is. So, Calm uh, no, or Hyper Voice. Uh, because, uh, uh, because the Cyber Lab looks careful with, with 252. Special attack and a plus two. A a a a shadow ball is thirty three percent to us. I'm gonna call mine up. Just get a safe yeah, combo. call mine. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna call mine up because he's got us. He's he switches out. Switch. Yeah, yeah, he does switch out. He's gonna switch into Zuko. What can Zuko really do to us though? Probably gets hurt a lot by a plus one hyper voice. So I come on the, the no but thing is. Alright, he's not choice banded. Uh, he's most likely a V create. No, v create destroys us. V create annihilates yeah, us. Oh my god. Alright, so if he goes for V create, we can switch into Croc and we can just pursue and that would be dead. But we risk Sylveon. I Man, yo, we're in a tight pickle right now. We've seen flame charge. We've seen U turn. Would he have V three? Could he also go back into Zygarde? Should I go back into Zygarde? Uh, he does sixty five to he does about sixty percent with with V three twisting, shall we? I have here 89.6 to 105. Well, the set I'm running, modest. I think, yeah, we're going to have to switch into Zygarde. Just get more mm. Rocky Helmet damage off. Because this yeah. is... We need Sylveon for the Mega Sable Eye. We don't have anything else for that Sable Eye right now. Oh, we do. We do. Because we talked about being... He went for a Z move. Oh, oh good. Shit. Wait, what that's, move? I think it's Infernal Blast. Yeah, that's I okay. Think. So that's so that's about. Yep, Infernal nine, Overdrive. Nine. Wow. That's about that's so, about eighty seven percent if he's choice banded jolly. Wait, it's Gigabolt okay. Overdrive. One hundred twenty eight because he's he's carrying the Z move. We can't. Yeah. So that off. It does. It does fifty seven percent. Okay, so that has to be V create. Yeah, it has to. Be. Has to be. It did about to so this set. It actually, did a, quite a lot for a resistant move. It brought it down from one twenty eight to fifty five. So that's about seventy three. I can't live another one because V create is like base one eighty, right? Is it V create? It's like one eighty. Yeah, it's base one eighty. We'll die. I think we let Zygarde go here though. Well, he might switch. Yeah, because can't you outspeed and go for a thousand arrows? We don't outspeed. We unless know. We've done that. But are we, we, I, I think thousand arrows is pretty safe, though. He's going to switch into... um. He's going to hard switch out, actually. It's a Ooh, save yeah. Y. Let's see how much this thousand arrow does, though. It's going to do about... Not too much. All right, so what can Mega Sableye do to us? I think I start outraging here, to tell you the truth. He he probably just goes for the recover. You think so? Because what's his health at right now? His health is at 50, 52-ish, 53-ish percent. He mm. probably either recovers or he might go for a will o wisp. Because if he goes for the will o wisp and we outrange right now, there's a chance we could two shot it. A yeah. Chance. 
Or he has but what? Eventually. He, he has his calm mind on his stable eye. What else? He has calm mind. That's all we see in calm mind. Mm. We can switch into Sylveon and pressure him again. It could kill the Willow does nothing to us. Or it does a bit. Because if he Willows. Like if he Willows, we can. Hmm. If he Willows, we don't get the. Uh, we don't get the uh, attack drop. So we're good. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we're going to keep. Actually, we're going to have to keep. Actually, now that he revealed he was a Fire MZ. I think we should keep it around the Zygarde just because we know it's yeah. recreate. It has to be recreate, which is a contact move, so we can get more Rocky Helmet damage off and yeah. all that good stuff. We're gonna switch back into Sylveon, take more Rocky Helmet. I mean, he goes for the recover. Okay, yeah, you see, there it is. Okay. And I got for really Rage. So, so is it hundred percent now? Yeah. Oh. All right. So he could switch into the Ferrothorn right now. I think he switches, and I think Blue Heart switch too. Or I can hit him power fire. Oh, okay, do that. Yeah, because we do have it. But he usually runs that stinking. He runs. Let me see. He runs, especially defensive. Yeah, well, hitting power can, fire would do if he's not actually. If he has some, it does fifty-seven point four to. 68%. Which is not bad. Do you guys want to make it's that a read? Two, it's a two hit, or two hit KO if you make the read right. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Wait, I but what if we so. Shadow Ball? Shadow Ball does 18.7 to 22%. Damn, I don't want to risk that. Yeah. Well, you guys want to make the read into Ferrothorn? Make the read? Or not? Yeah. I vote, yeah. yeah. Hidden Power Fire. I think he switches. Or he might Calm Mind. That would suck if he fucking Calm Mind. Nah, if he Calm Minds, that's fine. He's going to switch out. And he's going to switch back into... He's going to switch into the Ferrothorn. We got it, guys. All right, so let's see how much this Hidden Power Fire does right now. It does over 50%. That does... It does about 70%, to tell you the truth. Badass. Wow, that's Good a great read. read. We made a huge read right there. We made a okay. huge read. Okay. He okay. might sack Ferrothorn to get a switch. Yeah. Because he already got his rocks up. Yeah. Because Ferrothorn has no investment in special defense. So he's all the tech pretty much, let's say. Yeah, I think he sacks him off, too. Because mm. so. what is he going to save a 30% hit point Ferrothorn for? Still because it has no speed. You sure? Are you guys sure? Yeah, I think he sacks it. You think he sacks <laughs> it? Alright, so we'll go for another hidden power fire. If that's the case. I think he no, would switch. No, I, would. I think he would no, switch. He does switch. Oh, yeah. man. I should have. Oh, 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 man. Sorry. No, that's good. It's good. Why is he. What's he saving for? He's saving, I guess, for the Zygarde. So he switched into the thing. We're, we're, we're forced to switch into... But he's at 30% as our Zygarde can do... So Zy I think we're forced to switch back into Zygarde, but then he U-turns. Yo, this is going to be... Ah. Uh... Yeah. Oh my god, can't you fucking shit to me? Dang it. So, yeah. Is he going to hard switch out? I think we stay in. I think we stay in and we hyper voice. Yeah, I think he's gonna try and make a hard read. I don't know. <laughs> I think so too. No, the way he just played because uh, he, he saved the Ferrothorn and switched into yeah. Victini. Every time he brings in Victini, we go into Zygarde because we got the Rocky Helmet. So yeah. he can either hard switch out or U turn. So he yeah. can avoid this. I think we make the hard read and we hyper voice. Do it. Just do it. Do it. Yeah, do, Just it. do it. He's gonna be creep. God damn it. Okay, so there goes Victini. I mean our Sylveon. Sylveon. Uh Sylveon. Dude, maybe T Pex would have been the read because T Pex could have ate that shit. <sighs> Alright, 
I, I think he's pretty useless. He's almost only good to eat the bat. All right, so we, I, we're, I think 100%. Right now, we switch into Croc, and we pursue. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, he has U-turn. U-turn can help him do his damage. But we're scarfed, so we outspeed it. Oh, do we? Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So he has, he's going to switch out. We're going to pursue. We don't reveal we're scarfed, so we can switch him out and keep him around for... Yo, I, I know somebody told me I shouldn't run Pursue on Crook, but look how handy this Pursuit just came in. So we hard switch. The Pursuit play, obviously. Oh. Alright, so now, that's good. We reveal we're not Scarf, so we can switch out. Um, He's going to bring in the save Y. He's going to Will-O-Wisp, most likely. Most likely than right. that. Yeah. Am I carrying Outreach on this thing? I'm not. Oh, so to prevent... I kind of want to switch into Jolteon, but I don't. Well, Jolteon <laughs> gets the, the quick feet. It does. Well, actually, we can switch into Mark, the Toxapec. Yeah, well, Mark will just block it because he's already paralyzed. Yeah, and uh, Jolteon too, since he's already thing. I think probably... <laughs> And skull burned. Pray for a skull burn with Mark. Yeah, yeah, but he's gonna start setting up probably with uh, calm minds. I, I don't doubt it. And then you gotta risk the stupid pirate hacks. Yeah, I know. So he goes for the Will O' Wisp play. So we've actually revealed all three moves. We've revealed Will O' Wisp. We've revealed recover and now calm mind. So his last move has to be dark pulse, and we don't have Sylveon anymore. Who else was... Ah, oh, man. Such a bummer. Alright, so we're going to go for the Skull. Free for a burn. He's going to call mine up. Very unfortunate. We just need one Skull burn. We need the Skull burn. Yeah. Are we paralyzed or... We didn't get the burn. Ah... Uh, Try one more. Try one more. Just keep going for the skull burn. I guess how yeah. he's just gonna keep bulking up though. How much damage did it do with the plus one with the the skull? It did about like fifteen percent. He went for a dog pulse. Ah, uh, it did actually about twenty percent actually. The Dark Pulse did not flinch, and we did not get a burn. How much did uh, Modest T-Pex take from the Dark Pulse? It's not going to live another one. I can tell you that much. I'm at, I'm on red. Yeah, God, you could regenerate if you want to hang on to him, but who switches into the Dark Pulse? Actually, he's going to save and go. We can switch into Croc. Yeah, we could. But then we have to risk taking a will o -Wisp next turn after we Earthquake. Yeah. Or he does another thing here where he recovers and we recover making a read. I highly doubt that Matt will go for a recover when he's at like what? 70%? He's at 50% 50, 50 almost basically. Ooh, okay. well, yeah, maybe. He's at 50%, but he has a chance to kill us right now. But yeah, I think yeah. the way Matt plays, he would rather have full HP and then try to kill us than us. Yeah. yeah. So I guess we'll recover, actually, here. And hope for no yeah. paras. He recovers. Yeah. Okay, he's going to recover. Can we break through the paralysis? Can we break through Come the paralysis? Mark. Yeah, you broke through. Okay, we're going to recover right up. All right, so good. <laughs> I think we're going to have to play a little cheeky here. I think he might call mine up. I think he does too. So do we stockpile up? Yeah. Do we stockpile or keep fishing for burns? I, do you get the plus three stockpile? Bro, you're going far away from your mic. 
You're very yeah. smart. Jarvis Stockpile. Stockpile it is then. He's going to call mine up. Yeah. So that's fine yeah. because we still yeah. do have two physical attackers, which are Zygarde and we do have um, Croc. And we're going to break and through another Paralysis, get another Stockpile up. We're going to be at plus one. He's going to be at plus two. Hayes would have been amazing right now. All right, so we're at plus one. He's at plus two. This is going to go on for a while. Do we recover or keep stockpiling up is the question, though. How much is it yet? We've still we're, we? we're at plus one, and he's at plus two. Because if he goes for Dark Pulse, we can take another one if we get to plus two. For sure. I think mm -hmm. we're gonna we, we should stockpile. He's gonna keep calm mining. We're gonna stockpile actually. He's gonna dark pulse actually. Wow. Alright, so from a hundred we're gonna dunk down to fifty-four and our stockpile is gonna bring us back up. So we're at plus two. We can live another stockpile as long as we break through the paralysis. So we can recover this turn safely. I hope he goes for a a call mine, to tell you the truth. But yeah, right. he's gonna uh, he's gonna dark pulse. Oh, he's gonna fish for the flinch. Yes, we broke through. Okay, we're gonna get recover up. This is gonna be super annoying. But now we're tied with him. We're both at plus two. <sighs> And he got the recover. Try and stockpile one more. Stockpile one more? I'd say, why not? Dude, plus three stockpile on a Toxapex is hardcore to deal with. He's in a Dark Pulse. He's. I think he's praying for a flinch. I mean, a crit. We're going to stockpile up. So we're at plus three. Mark is at plus three stockpile. Good job, Mark. Pat in the back. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm paralyzed as fuck. Yeah, dude. We have a, we actually just gone for like five turns and we didn't get paralyzed. So here we can recover up. I say right. Yeah. yeah. Recover up. Get back to full HP. He's gonna dark pulse again. Don't crit us. Yo, that is doing nothing. And Mark is no longer paralyzed because every turn has landed. Oh, okay. Well, I think it's, <laughs> we start fishing for burns. Start fishing for them burns now, actually. And he's going to keep dark pulsing. Scald? Come on. We just one hex. We just need one hex. We got one burn already. We got the burn! Hey. Woo! That's what we're talking about. Matt is going to be so mad. Oh, man. And we're going to recover back up, because we flinched. Ah, oh, it's a bummer. What percentage is Dark Pulse doing at plus three right now with him plus two? Uh, <laughs> let me see. It's doing about, I would say about 15%. It goes from 49 to 24. So I did 25 HP, reduced it. So 25 over of 156 is about 16%. Like 12. 16%. Yeah, 16. Yeah. So we're at 102. We can take three Dark Pulses plus a little bit of Life Orb damage. I think Yeah, he's so really... he's just fucking himself up with the burn and the Life Orb. And now we got Paralyzed. We're at 75 HP. We can take three more Dark Pulses. Actually, it would be... We take two Dark Pulses plus one Life Orb damage. And then we die. Uh, do we recover or do we attack? I'd go recover. Recover? Just a yeah, attack. He's going to call mine up. Okay, now it's getting bad. Now, I'm honestly doing. surprised he didn't call mind up sooner. That's actually mm. true, but he was praying for a crit. 
I need to see who does more damage though. Cause right now he's about 50%. <sighs> Actually, oh man, a combine is very bad. Yeah. In the sense that now our nothing can our, switch our, into him. Well, our scald does even less. Yeah, uh, you can try and get the man off if you want. We have Croc, Alejandro. I think Alejandro might is gonna be the person that pulls us through right now. I just want to see. Who Hopefully, he more. goes for another calm mind. You know, because what's his health at now? It's at fifty percent almost, basically. It's at fifty five ish. I think I, I should have switched into Croc here and try to earth. Yeah, because can can Croc earthquake kill him at fifty percent? It depends on how what his spread is like. Uh, yeah. Uh, if he's at the average fit. I think. I, oh man. I say you go into Crook and try and hope that he goes for the last call, mind. Or recover. And then I, I would take a recover too, actually. Uh, Crook uh, and I is roughly forty five percent. To four to the forty percent of the. All right, let's see. He's gonna go for the recover. Very unfortunate. Two things have to happen here, guys. We earthquake to try to take damage. Die. No, actually. And then you have to. Mm. Well, because he could he he could one hit kill the crook with. Dark Pulse at plus three, right? No, you can't kill me. Let me see. Adamant. We're Choice Bandit. I mean, we're Choice Scarf, actually. So that's a nut. It does... We need to windle it down, though, man. To windle it down to where I could two-shot it. So I might have to start doing some switches. Because he's going to Willow. Two, okay, right, and then if I get turn. willowed, I don't think I can kill it next turn. If I'm burned, no. I can do about like 50, 60%. Well, depending on his spread. Ah, this is so risky. What you, can do, right, is, what you can do is if we go into or uh, uh, one effort or. Mark is our most expendable mon. I think I'm going to have to start switching between Mark and Crook. So the burn can kind of dwindle it down to a point where we can bring in Crook, Earthquake, take the Willow, and Earthquake again, and probably kill it. Well, the thing is, how much, how much HP is, 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 is that? It just recovered, and all it took was burn. So he went for the Willow. So now he took another burn. How much does burn do? 10%? No, it does less than 10%, right? It's like one... Does it? One sixteen? Oh my god, this is going to take a while. Think? So okay. I think we just... We scald. Get some damage off. He's going to Dark Pulse. This is going to do a lot. That did a lot. And we are paralyzed. God damn. Um, All right, well, so and Scald's uh, not going to do shit because he's at plus three. So, uh, it does. How much? Oh, I didn't even calculate. How much would Thing do? Zygar's Outrage doesn't do enough, right? I think it does, it's 120. No. Nah, uh, it does less than what Thing would do. Oh, it does about the same, actually. Actually, it does a little bit more, it says. Uh, no, uh, uh, and Ben does one eight on the on the max HP. All right, so he's taking four burn damages. Yeah. Okay. I say, hmm. You might have to sack Toxapex off. Not only is he I just did. Him. I actually, I just did right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had so to. So you're going into Zygarde or into Croak? 
I think I think I'm gonna go into Zygarde. It's telling me Zygarde would do slightly more than Crookwood. With Crook, it was about let me see, just make sure. Crook was all Zygarde's real low though. So if he burns mm -hmm. Zygarde. I don't know. I, I think we have to go into Zygarde to tell you the truth right now. We're mm -hmm. down to the last 15 minutes, boys. This video has gone on for 45 minutes already. So Damn. Yeah, I think you go into Zygarde. Yeah, I just did. All right, so we just have to two things have to happen here. We need to like outrage crit or we need like Oh, will o -Wisp miss. One of the two. He might just go for the kill, though, which would be the best case scenario, probably. That would yeah. be the, base, the best case scenario, because if we coil, you know what I mean? But right. I doubt it. I, the way Matt plays, I think he would go for the will o -Wisp. Right. Okay, well, you outrage. Don't coil, you, gotta, you gotta put damage down on him. Yeah, so outrage it is then, guys. Outrage it is. Here comes the outrage. Can we crit? Can we crit? He's going to go for the Dark Pulse. He actually did. Okay. So, I guess he couldn't risk the... A coil. Yes, yes. Alright, so he's in range for Crook to kill. That's it. <sighs> the question is... Do I knock off or do I earthquake? Which does more? Earthquake does more. I think we just earthquake. Right. I'm just I'm scared because the thunderous is still around, so thunderous would mm -hmm. um for sure would do. Yeah, so. but if he if he switches, do they both have a chance to uh, KO? Does knock off and earthquake have a chance to KO? I don't think knock. I just want to knock off. No, knock off does a lot less. A lot less. If, then go for the earthquake. If yeah. he goes for the hard read, then at least he's not a plus three friggin' Sableye anymore. Okay, so he didn't go for the hard read. He's We're gonna earthquake. Do we kill? Okay, we killed it. We killed the Sableye. The knowing Sableye is gone. So, we're down to 3-3. Three, three. We earthquake. Can we take out Ferrothorn with an earthquake? He brings in King Shark. That's Garchomp. That's Garchomp. I think we have to Earthquake. Yeah, and then the Jolteon you can just hate to be honest. Because that'll bring average damage to Thunderous and the Pharaoh. We'll have to handle that as it comes. Right, yeah, go for the Earthquake. Whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. What if he Scarf? Like, the Intimidate uh, could be so yeah. good right now. Because if, if he scarf, I rather I rather sack Azelf than take damage right now. Keep the intimidate intact for later on, late game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does he go for a dragon dance? No, no, you can't go for dragon dance. It's going to get it. Okay. So we could sack here. Two good things can happen, because if he earthquakes while we make this read, we can... I say we sack Azelf, if anything, to tell you the truth. I feel I have a feeling this thing might be Scarf. We haven't been, we haven't seen the Scarf for all game. But the thing is... Uh, 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 we got 20 uh, seconds. 20 seconds, guys. I the most. I, sack uh, Azelf? Uh, sack Azelf or attack? Just sack. Sack. Sack Azelf. Sack. I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm so sorry, but... I'll take over the page. I'll take a couple of the page. It's going to be more important later on. Yeah, for sure. So he's going to Dragon Claw. That's fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Does so Hidden Power kill? Hidden Power, I don't see... Um... Are you running a Modest one? Yeah, I'm running Modest. Okay. It does... It does... Yeah, it does 81 to 97 percent. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. So what you should have done, you probably should have gone for the 
Earthquake with Crocodile. Well, Andy we can get the Intimidate off. off now, actually, which is nice. Should be able to yeah, so we get Psychic Ray back in the pool. Go to Court. Okay, so I think we should do two things. Switch into Crook. Probably... Oh, I can't do that. If you, I was going to okay. say switch into Croc, get our Stilf Rocks up, and then... Listen. Yeah. If you're on the Croc, uh, he can't... He can't... Do I can't you? Uh, do I can't uh, you? you? If you earthquake, you can you can uh, uh, earthquake or knock off. You can roughly get a two out of to three or if you get knock off. So switch into a crook is our best player. And then right knock now. off. Knock yeah, off. And then knock yeah, okay. off. Knock off. All right. Yeah, we're gonna do. Yeah, it. that's a good idea. Yeah, we're down to ten minutes, do guys. Do this game is coming down to the wire. This game is. Yeah, yeah. How many minutes are left on the game clock? Ten fifty-eight. Yeah, you gotta battle fast now. Alright, so knockoff to a uh, to this guard chomp is gonna do about twenty-eight point nine to thirty-five percent. Very unfortunate. Oh, that's a dragon MZ. Anything else? We'll do about fifty percent. So if you switch into Ferrothorn, have we seen an idol on Ferrothorn? We have it, right? So it's probably like Aka Berry. No, it wasn't Aka Berry because we did a lot of damage. I think yeah, knockoff is our best play right now. Here it is. Knock off because he can't be Z move. He's going to switch so out. So this thing has to be Scarf. He's going to switch in Thunder Race. Yeah, How much is this uh, knockoff going to do? Thunder Race. Yo, it did 80%. Yeah, yeah. Oh 80%. 80% and we're Scarf? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, if we were modest right now, this would be so good. Oh my god, I the problem is thinking Ferrothorn. We can't okay, we can knock off, we'll live, we can live a hit from Garchomp, knock off that, and then hidden power ice and vault switch on Jolt. I think knock off again. I think we can't switch. Yeah. We can't be taking Alright, so we gotta review where's Oh, he's gonna switch out and switch into the Ferrothorn. We're gonna take Rocky helmet damage plus That's so good, that's so good. Can we kill? We, can we don't kill it! Oh, Iron Damn Barbs. It. The Rocky Helmet. Actually, hang on, hang on. Hang I think on. we Let's... switch into Jolteon here, though. We have to switch into yeah. Jolteon. Yeah. Yes. Let's do that. Okay, let's go for, for our form. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's go into Jolteon. We resist the Gy uh, Actually, Gyro Ball does a lot. I think it does. Yeah. He's going to leaf uh, seed. Okay, we'll take the leaf seed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Gyro is about 30, 35%. All right, so we don't... He doesn't get too much HP from us, actually. No. Because if, if you go for a Shadow Ball, that does the most damage to him. Shadow Ball? Yeah. You're right. Shadow Ball does do the most. Because Hidden Power Ice is neutral. And we also yeah. beat everything, so we're fine in that sense. So yeah, Shadow Ball. Okay, Shadow Ball it is. All right, so we got to get rid of this thing. If he switches, this would be huge. Okay, he's not going to switch. Alejandro's going to put in the Shadow Ball. Kill. It killed. It's a crit. I don't think the crit mattered, but... It's a crit, man. Let's go. Shady Penguin behind us. Let's do this. This, this is our game. This is it, guys. This is it. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's man. We need it. We needed the crit for the next turn for when the Garchomp comes in. Right now, here comes the King Shark. <sighs> Hidden Power Ice, guys, right? Wait, 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 wait. 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 Yeah. Hidden Go Power Ice. We have nothing Go else. We, we got nothing to lose. We outspeed because we're the quick feet. Hidden Power yeah. Ice yeah. is not enough to take it out, though. He's going to Earthquake. Yeah. Oh, we have Crook at all. You can... Yeah, you've got Crook with the Intimidate. We got Crook with the Intimidate, but you got to remember, he has yeah. rock. He has the stinking rough skin. So, oh, yeah, um, and the rocks, entry hazards. But it comes down to this. Like, if he's not Scarf, that would be huge. It probably is, dude. 77%. That's how much HP we have. We get the Intimidate off. 
he could always just switch out, which sucks, and just start <laughs> to preserve it. But you get a free. Who's his wait? Last wait. Free? If he who's switches out right now to preserve it, we could pursue. Could we? Could we pursue mm -hmm. right now? What do we have yeah. to lose? What do we have to lose? Nothing. Because yeah. doesn't Pursuit kill either way? He's really low from the HP ice, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, he is. He's yeah. at like 7, I would say about 23%-ish. Yo, yeah. if Matt switches out right now, this would be GG. Come on, please switch out, Matt. He's gonna, he's not gonna switch. Oh, we outspeed! So he wasn't Scarf? He wasn't Scarf. We could have knocked off. That was my fault. I overread that play, guys. Oh no, my dude, god. Dude, we all thought he had the scarf. Oh man, he played that so well. He was walking home, 100%. He would have been Rocky Helmet. No, it wasn't Rocky Helmet. It wasn't. Ah. Uh, what? What was the guard charm? Dude. Baby. It was a great move. It was a great battle. I had to admit. If we had knockoff, we would have won. Wow. Hey, told you. Yeah, I could have. I was like, yo, it has to be Scarf. It has to be Scarf. Damn. I thought it was Scarf. I, I thought... was convinced. Just from the way he played with him. Well, Good thing is, that's how Matt plays. He wants to make you think something when it's not. Hold on. I'm going to add Matt real quick to the call. Wherever this call is at. Many boy. Where is this kid? Was there a, did somebody else show up into the call? <laughs> I thought I heard a fourth person. Damn dude, it came down to that last read. <laughs> I know. Wow man. It says Matt was added. Wait, did I add Matt? Can you guys add him? He half expected it. Oh, man. Matt, are you on? <laughs> Yo, congratulations, man. Dude, what a battle. Again. Yo, man, what? What was the what item was Garchomp? Avonberry? Oh. Oh, we thought he was Scarf. Yeah, we were like, yo, it has no, to be it was, scarf. It was like a physically defensive set. Damn, we overread that play. Aw. Damn, man. Were you we... Scarf? Yeah, were it was Scarf. scarf it was Scarf Cook. Knock off you to one. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, we played the Scarf really well because we went for the Pursuit on Victini, so we didn't reveal it there. You I switched out. I had a feeling. I was like, oh, if he's Scarf, he's going to switch out to preserve the Intimidate and then thing. It's like... <sighs> I mean, I probably could have killed at that point, so it wouldn't have mattered. True. And you did. But... That rough skin, though. For all the Rocky Helmet damage and rough skin damage that game. I know. And Hazards. Yep. Oh, and that the Paris, friggin Sableye standoff of bullshit. <laughs> Dude, Sableye almost clutched that game. I know, it was too... Uh, it was... <sighs> I think I'm going to end the video there, though. Well, guys, if you guys enjoyed that video, actually, this is going to, I think, it's Patreon's exclusive. So, all you Patreons, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Hopefully, we, get, we can bring more stuff like this to you guys in the future. Uh, but with that said, you guys are amazing. Stay blazing. But it was not just a blazing squid here. But who else do we have? Mark. And our LDL Season 5 champion. The one and only Matt. <laughs> and Jesse, if he's still awake. Which I doubt it. It's already like 5 o'clock. And, and for a few brief moments, Alejandro. <laughs> yeah, Alejandro. I, he did? He showed up and knocked? Yeah, you didn't hear him. I heard him. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear him. Oh, wow. Well, it was unfortunate we didn't get the win, but there's always next season when you guys have to face the squid. But with that said, we're going to blast off here, guys. It was great talking to you guys. Catch you soon.